All right, so let's look at the third problem. It says, Susie noticed that 15% of the customers in her checkout lane at the grocery store paid with a debit card. If she had 240 customers, how many paid with a debit card? All right, so let's start with our estimation, okay? I think 15% is really, really close to 10%. So I'm going to see what is one-tenth of 240, and that will give me an estimate. So 240 divided by 10. And I'm dividing by 10 because 10% 10 times 10 gives me 100%. Right? So I'm dividing by 10 to find 10% 10 of 240. 10 goes into 24 two times. 2 times 10 is 20. 24 minus 20 is 4. Bring down my 0. 10 goes into 40 four times. 4 times 10 is 40. 40 minus 40 is 0. All right, so 10% is 24. So my number is going to be a little bit bigger than 24. So I'll know if I get a number like 15, I'll know my answer is not reasonable. Or if I get a number like 120, I'll know my answer isn't reasonable because I'm looking for something a little bit bigger than 24. All right, so let's start with our model. All right, so 0% is 0, 100% is 240. There we go. And I already know that 10%, which is kind of right, we'll just say it's right here. I already know that 10% is 24 students, okay? I'm looking for 15%. So I could go through and I could, I could model 50%, 25% if I wanted to, whatever I need in my model to make me feel comfortable. But since I'm dealing with something so low, I'm just dealing with 15%, I may not go through and do the 50%, 25%, anything like that. So... But maybe I would. Because when I see 15% over here, when I see 15%, I kind of think of 15% as 25% minus 10%, right? Because 25 minus 10 is 15. And I already know what 10% is. So if I could find what 25% was of 240, and then I could just do a subtraction. So maybe I'll do that. All right, so 100% is 240. So 50% would be what? 50% would be a half of 200 is 100, and then half of 40 is 20. So 50% of 240 is 120, and that makes sense because 120 times 2 gives me 240. All right. So then if I cut, uh, that lines off a little. If I cut that in half and find 25%, right? Okay, well, 120 cut in half, well, 120 divided by 2 is 60. All right. And I want to know what 15% is. And I can draw a line right there, and I can even shade it. I want 15%. Okay. But like I said, so I see 15% as 25% minus 10%. So 25% we said was 60, and 10% is 24. So when I subtract 25 I'm sorry, I subtract 10 from 25, I get my 15%. So 60 minus 24. So I have to borrow a regroup because I have zero, so I make that 10. Take one from here, that makes that 5. 10 minus 4 is 6. 5 minus 2 is 3. So 15% is 36. So 36 customers paid with a debit card. Um, 
So on this one, there's even um, a couple of other ways to solve it. Like I already knew what 10% was. I could have solved for 20%, which is double the 10%. 24 times 2 is 48. And looked for a number halfway between 48 and 24. I could have done that as well. Um, that's one of the things I really like about the percent bars is you can kind of use them however they, they want. I saw the relationship 25% minus 10% is 15%. Some other student might have seen that the 15% is halfway, um, is between, halfway between 10% and 20% and solved it that way. Um, there's a bunch of different ways you can um, you can use this percent bar, which is why I'm starting to be a big really a really big fan. I used to not be a big fan, but I'm starting to be a really big fan now. All right, so I have an answer, but let's double check it with the proportion. Okay, so x number of people used a debit card. Hold on, that's kind of big. All right, x over 240 customers is equal to 15% over 100. Okay. Well, again, between 100 and 240, it's there's no whole number relationship. But again, if I notice 15 and 100 both end, one ends in a 5 and one ends in a 0, so they're both divisible by 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. 100 divided by 5 is 20. Oh, and I can go very easily from 20 to 240. Okay. Um, let's see. 20. Let's see. 20 times 10 is 200. Plus 20 more is 220. Plus 20 more is 240. So 20 times 12 gives me 240. So 3 times 12, 3 times 12 is 36. So 36 people. Right. And I can even go back and look, and my estimate was 24, and I got a little bit more than that. I got 36. All right, that's problem number three.